Las Vegas is playing host to one of the finest Moscone Cups ever witnessed. It's a tournament that has been littered with moments of brilliance and mouth-watering displays of skill that have combined to light up this city. And now we are on the verge of history. Europe are just a point away from recording a record-breaking sixth straight win. Team USA are attempting a monumental comeback. Which way will the Moscone Cup go as we prepare for the second match on day four? Day three gave us a bit of everything. The Europeans started off with a win in the doubles, something that had eluded them on the previous two days. The USA struck back via Corey Duell, then two European wins on the spin from Carl Boys and Alvin Ocean, and then Niels Fian in the singles. But just when Europe looked to be running away with it, Justin Bergman pulled off an improbable win in the last match of the session. Day four beckoned, and with it, another European victory, and one that could prove crucial. It takes Team Europe to within one of the outright win. The question is, can Carl Boys seal the win, or will Shane Van Boning step up and save the American cause? Commentary for this match comes from Jerry Forsyth and Jay Helford. It all comes down to this. America's got to win them all from here. They can't afford to give up a single loss. Well, they got their backs against the wall. That was a great, great match. Probably the best match of the whole Moscone Cup, the one we just saw. Yeah, that was a true bit of misfortune there at the end for Mr. Bergman. But that's the way nine ball rolls, and Shane has won the lag. So he gets to control the table first. If Europe completes this victory Thank today, you much, it will be First seven round. in a row USA breaks. for Team Europe. They've won the last six straight. There goes the one. He's got a shot on the two in the side. Looks like he can go three rails around that four ball. Avoid the seven shape on the three. I make it sound hard, don't yeah, I? Yeah, well, it is hard. There's a lot of traffic to avoid here. Hey. Looks like he's going to make it through. He's listening to me. <laughs> there we go. The two ball deposited in the side, and the cue ball clears this way for a shot on the three. That was not as easy as it looked, but that's Shane Van Boning. Yeah, two former world champions out now. Went a little further than he wanted here. He's like, uh, he'd like to be about six inches back from where he just came. You see, he's got to really stretch and cut this ball in. And he missed it. He sure did. And that cue ball, ball, boys may have a full ball with which to work here. Can't be sure. But that ball never really threatened the pocket at all. If Carl can cut this ball in, he's got to really let that cue ball fly. Extension, please. Yeah, and that's a real thin cut. Extension, please. Thank you. I don't see any two-way either if he goes for it. He's going for it. And misses. He's going to leave a table for Shane. This cue ball might end up anywhere. Wow. Wow, what a good shot. Excellent opening shot. Carl's done the hard work. That eight ball's not really in the way of his cueing. 
All he needs to do is pocket the six and bounce a little bit off the rail for a comfortable shot at the seven. Well, this opportunity for Carl came about due to the errant position that Shane played from the three to the four. Yeah, he's shaking his head. Got to keep your man off the table. We're playing alternating breaks, so the next break belongs to Mr. Boys. He's going to get this first rack. Yeah, this will close out this rack. And Carl will have a one nothing lead for his team. Carl will head back to his corner and have a little talk with his teammates here. Boys made the most of it. This is an extremely thin cut that he makes. He was a bit fortunate in that kiss off the nine ball, gave him perfect position for the five. This could be the last match of the Moscone Cup this year. Van Boning has not had his best year. He's got to pull himself up and out. All right, thank you very much, everybody. Weight of the world Our on that man's shoulders your, right there. Rack two, your breaks, they lead one zero. Remember, they played last night, these same two guys that went Hill Hill, and Carl broke in the nine ball to win the match. Look out, cue ball. He's got an opportunity with ball in hand. It looks like he could shoot the two and then the three nine. Let's see in a minute here. I'm not sure the nine is going to clear into that pocket. Yep, the eight's in the way. So Shane's going to have to run these balls. And where he's going to have a problem is on that eight ball, which is next to the nine. I'm looking a little bit ahead here. Yeah, that three nine won't go. He will have to move that eight and nine ball when he shoots the three. And that's going to leave him a long shot on the four. Not very many balls out there, only seven, but this is still tricky. It's interesting that he's starting with the two going down to the quarter, and you would think he would shoot in the side pocket. Well, I hope he's not thinking to brush the eight out of the way with this shot. Attention, please. Thank you. No, he doesn't want to hit the eight. I don't think. Is he playing the eight ball? The combination? He did. And I don't not sure he got paid for that. Can he find the edge of that two ball? Boy, that was a surprise that he went that way. Oh, boy, that was tight, baby. I'll tell you what, Jerry, Shane's throwing caution to the wind this this match. Well, he's got to. You, you, you can't play safeties here. You've got to play aggressive. You've got to make balls go in the pockets. Most players would have probably shot the two and slid over and shot the three next and broke them up that way. But like you said, it would have left him with a long shot on the four. Nice, delicate touch there. Yeah, that one went in the heart of the pocket. And that's what we're looking for to see how well these fellows are shooting, whether that cue ball 
washes its feet before it goes in or if it goes right in the heart. Another one in the heart. These guys played a good match last night. We're going to tie it up. One a game apiece. That job's done. Shane has tied the match at one, and it will be Shane Van Boning's break. And now Captain Mark Wilson comes down. So Van Boning knows he's back in this match now. And the crowd cheering him on, trying to get his spirits up. There's the break shot. The one ball went into the side pocket, and the cue ball followed right behind. Very interesting choice of uh, shots. Shane started with that 2 8 combination, fooled us. Acclaimed as the best pool player in the United States for the last seven or eight years. He's had his problems playing Moscone Cup though. Yeah, he looks so icy cool, but inside there's got to be turmoil. If somehow Shane can win this match and prolong the Moscone Cup, we'll have Skylar Woodward playing Albin Ocean next. Love, love to see it. that match. Yeah, you and me both. I'd love to see Skyler again. He's been really impressive. Yes, he has. Shane takes a long, hard look at this rack. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is rack number three. USA breaks one to one. That's our referee, Kenny Schumann. Two ball down. No, it didn't. Oh, it hung up. Wow, it looked like it was going in. Wow. You take a look, that blue two. It wanted to fall, but it did not. And now Carl has an open shot at the one ball, and the two ball is easy. It's just sitting in the pocket waiting for him. The five rattled around the side pocket, too. So now Shane's good break left an open table for Carl. Got to get past the nine ball. He's blocked himself. He may be able to spin it around like a masse shot, but boy, I'll tell you what, it's hard to make that ball masse on this slick cloth. He might have to kick at it. Yeah, I'm just not sure he's got enough room to even come off the rail and hit that ball. You know, it's make a, it. Jerry, you know, it's a Thank real you, big please. ball to kick at when it's so deep Thank in the you. pocket. If you go one rail at this ball, you can hit almost any. He's, he's going for the mass A. He just got it. He just got the edge of it. Got into a rough shape on that three ball, though, and you can see him shaking his head. He would like to be a lot further away from that three. Take a look at how he dumps this two ball into the corner. Nice shot, but not the best result. I think he can shoot the three into the same pocket. Yeah, that's what he's going for. Yeah. Just hold the cue ball a little bit to his left for the four next. So very well done. Delicate little shot there. <laughs> Not much le work left out there, Jay. Yeah, he got through the hard part. Getting from the six to the seven is the toughest thing left. And Carl's made that shot a few thousand times in his life.
that's what he was looking at. He just wants to decide where he wants to shoot that seven. He got a little straight here on this six ball. He may draw straight back, and that's what he's looking at. He may draw straight back and shoot the seven all the way down in the end. Well done. Perfect shape on the seven to just fall a down table for the eight ball. Slides back up table for an easy shot on the nine in the lead. This for a two to one lead for Carl Boys and Team Europe, and the noise begins on the European side. There's some more pool coming your way in this year's Moscone Cup. Stay with us. Welcome back to Vegas, where Europe are edging towards victory. Overall, they are just a point away. And Carl Boys has taken a step closer to that dream by taking two of the opening three racks against Shane Van Boning. This is now the fourth. A lot of tension in this crowd. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate Every it. ball is important now. Play. This is rack number four. Europe's breaking. They lead two to one. Nice and quiet now. Carl with the lead and a chance to stretch that out. One ball on the side. Shot at the two. Nice layout. There's really nothing out there to stop him. Look at the way this table breaks open. Nice and clean. No clusters. Nothing tied up on a rail. This is exactly the kind of break shot you want to see. He's probably going to draw down to the end rail and back out for the three. Just like that. Well done. The four and five. May well go in the same pocket. He's got his choice though, whatever he feels good with. Cue ball back out to the center of the table. Jerry, this has been one of the things that I've noticed all week is that the European players, once they get in line, they stay in line. They're able to complete the run out. Whereas the American players, uh, they've struggled with their run outs. Yeah, they're making the balls, but their position play has just been off. Thank you, please. Thank you. It always seems to happen at critical moments in the game. Yeah, like what happened to Justin last match. Exactly what I was referring to. This is the tough shot right here. It's yeah. going to have to go straight up the table for the six. If he goes straight up, he's got to make sure the cue ball avoids the nine. His other choice is to go two rails and now nah, let's see. I think he's going forward. Just one rail straight back up the table. He's going to get there. Well done. Pretty much ideal position right here. Yeah, this is what we're talking about, Jerry. And I think he may be a little bit straight, but he should be just fine. Because he's got a lot of pockets he can put that seven ball in. He can just roll forward a little bit and put it in this lower right hand corner pocket if he wishes. But he's going to draw back and play it into the same pocket as the six. Or go around it. Oh. Wow, what a stroke.
Not sure why he's not happy with that shot. He's got an easy path down table to clear the nine. Put the eight right in his sights. Carl doesn't look nervous at all. He looks very composed. Well, he's cleared the nine. He's playing with a lot of confidence this week. He's coming off a runner up finish in the U.S. Open last month. Some three to one lead over Shane Van Boning in our race to five. And the fat lady is warming up. This could be the last match of the Moscone Cup 2015. Get your break perfect. You heard what Marcus said. He said you broke perfect. Here's that nice long position shot. Carl couldn't have asked for anything better. And what that led to was this shot right here. And another W on the European side of the board. Good camera work there. Hey, a shout out to Rory, Sean, and all the crew at Sky. You guys did a great job again. Thank you so much. Shane to break, trailing three to one. He'd like to come up with a break as good as Carl's. Well, he's got to get through this rack. He cannot give boys a chance to get to the table. But his break shot has not been shining this week. He has you know, had a few dry breaks. You know, Jerry, this is the other area where Europe has excelled. They've broken much better than Team USA. Thank you very much, everybody. This is rack number five. USA breaks. There's a reason. Europe They're leading and probably winning for the seventh year in a row. He did not make the one on the break. In fact, he didn't make anything. Well, he may have made the cue ball. Nope. But Carl has an easy shot on the one ball, and the cue ball will be tracking down table toward the two. The four balls tied up this rack. We'll see in a moment. Four and the six are tied up. That's going to present a problem for Carl in a little while here. Yeah, but I love the safety that provides him. There you go. There's the that right there. Shane's got two dry breaks, and Carl's got no dry breaks. Good stat there. Extension, please. Thank you. He's taking Sold a lot down. of time on this shot. Can't blame him. Position's tricky here. Yeah, and position is key. Never does you any good to make a ball if you can't make the next one. He missed it. You got him, Jerry. I tell you what, <laughs> this is the opportunity. That Mr. Van Boning had to have, and now he's got to capitalize on it. Now, with this shot, he can come down and break up that six ball and get shape on the two. Let's see if that one's right on the rail. Yeah, it is. That's good. That's good, yeah. With inside English, he's going to come right up towards that six if he makes it. Oops. Oh, my. And Shane has left it for Carl. Carl basically has the same shot, but from a better angle. Right. That was not an easy shot, but it's one that Shane should have been able to execute. You got to get rail first on that ball. Yeah, he didn't get any, either end of that shot very well. Let's see if Carl breaks him up here. Yep. Well, he was trying to. He left himself tough on the two. Yeah, frankly, I look for Carl to duck here. And that would serve the advantage of 
frustrating Van Boning even more. Maybe bank the two up table and put the cue right there behind the nine. Use the nine yeah. and the three as blockers. Yeah, exactly. Of course, Carl's fooled me before. He did. He did. He's blocked him with both those balls. That just about takes the jump out of it. Yeah, he can't get them both, that's for sure. Does he have his jump cue? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Yes, he does. He's trying this, but jump, this is tough. Yeah, jump the nine and hit the edge of the two. He got it. Well, he left a tough shot. You know, there may be a billiard from the two to the nine. Carl may look at it because as long as that four six is tied up, it's not an easy run out. I think he's looking at playing the two and that billiard. Let's see. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if he goes after the nine ball here. Yeah, I would expect the nine to roll toward the lower left pocket here. He's missed them both, but he hasn't given much of an opportunity back to Van Boning. He tied up the five even a little bit more with that six. Yeah, the table just gets a little bit uglier. This is a critical rack for Shane Van Boning. And the U.S. is on life support right now. Yeah, and there's somebody in the corner trying to kick the plug out. I think he got him. Yeah, he got him. There. Nice safety. Well, let's see if Carl can work some more magic. He's been amazing us all week. There's the safety. And it's a good safety, but Carl's been escaping good safeties. He may go three rails out of the corner. Yeah, like that. He missed the whole ball. Still, what do you do with that cluster, even with ball in hand? Ball in hand, USA. That's what Shane's looking at. Just the narrowest of misses on that two ball. That's a rare. Yeah. If there'd been another coat of paint on it, he'd have hit it. <laughs> good. That's a rarity, Jerry. Yeah, Team Europe is. has been good at hitting at the ball, hitting the balls. He's trying to get position so he can shoot the three and break him out, but that's not it. Well, if he plays it into the corner, he can drag over and hit him. Looks like he's going to run into the nine first, though. Anything could happen here if he hits these balls. He needs to pop it pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, Look at this. No. Look at it. He made the ball on a fluke. He broke out the, the cluster. Now he's got to play a combination. <laughs> he got a he got a big right, jelly nice roll quiet, there. Now. Nice and quiet, please. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. He didn't waste any time on this. <laughs> extremely fortunate roll for Shane, and I underline extremely. This will bring Van Boning within one when these two balls go away. Nice draw stroke. Happiness on the side of Team America as Shane Van Boning, the hero of the squad, pulls one back for America. Can he keep it up? We'll find out here in just a few moments.
Welcome back to Vegas and the Moscone Cup. The tension is growing as Europe aimed to claim their sixth straight win in this competition. Coro Boys is edging towards the win that will give his side outright victory. He leads Shane Van Boning by one as we pick up the action in the sixth. Commentary from Jay Helfert and Jerry Forsythe. This guy's been breaking good every match. Nothing I yet. I don't hear anything going in. This it's is a surprise. It's a dry break, and Van Boning gets to come to the table. That's a long shot to have to face for your first one when your arm feels a little bit clumsy. It's a nice open table, but it's a very difficult opening shot. I think Shane's kind of throwing caution to the wind now. He knows he just got to get up there and go for it. He must avoid the scratch in the side pocket. But he's got to make the shot. And he's left Boise. An open shot on the one ball, and he knows it. He sags back to his chair. He was real careful with that cue ball, Jerry, like you said, because he wanted to get shape on the two. But in doing so, he missed the one. He missed the pocket by half a diamond. Nothing easy here for Carl. He may opt for a safety. I think he will. Well, the safety is certainly a lot easier. But he also knows if he can put that one away, the rest of the table's laying out there for him. No, he's playing safe. Oh, look at this. Look oh, at this. Nice bank shot. Shame on me. Boys has more courage than he needs. You know, that was a two-way shot. He's playing the bank and a safety at the same time. Right. Take a look at this bank. This is pretty. He had a little English on that ball because it spun off the rail toward the pocket. He's got a funny angle here on the two. He's going to cut the two to his right and go three rails for position on the three. Oh, he makes this. That's tough. Here he goes. He did it. He did it. Now the rack is open. Shane knows he's in trouble right now. He's in trouble deep. Carl has every reason to expect to get through this rack and be on the hill. And he'd love to sink the final nine ball in the Moscone <laughs> Cup. That's always a big thrill for any player. Yeah, he'd be up on the table pretty quick. Looks like he can just stop the cue ball here. Oh, he slid over for the five. Now he can just draw back for the six ball. Van Boning, all he can do is sit and watch. Hope he gets another chance at the table. He'll shoot the six up in the end and take the seven in the side. Yeah, he just needs to float the cue ball back out to the middle of the table. Takes an extra second and an extra breath to steady himself for this long shot. Nicely done. Beautiful shot making by boys. Once again, very composed, very much in control. Pretty just, straightforward, yeah. Yeah, he just comes off the left-hand rail here. Brings the cue ball back out near center table for a straight-in shot on the nine. This will put him on the hill. Europe's going to go crazy on this shot. Listen to him roar as Carl Boys enjoys a 4-2 to two lead in what could be the last match of the Moscone Cup. He only needs to drop one more nine ball. Great. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you oh, broke them good. You hit them just as good. You hit them just as good as the last, first break, you know. It was just, yeah. Yeah, sort of uh, but you hit it. You didn't hit it bad, you know. It was unlucky not to make it. Yeah. So you're nah, now? Nice shot. Come on. Compose. They were talking about the break shot there. Marcos is saying, you didn't hit him bad. You were just unlucky not to make anything. And there's that miss by Shane, which set up this little bank shot on the one. And finally, an easy nine ball. Boy, the European shot making this week has been nothing short of amazing. They come with shots like that bank shot at critical moments. It's just, it's really like they have no nerves. Celebrating now. Jerry, do you know what they're right, saying? Thank you very much, everyone. Not a clue. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Rack seven, USA breaks. <laughs> Europe leads four two. Van Boning cannot afford a dry break and he doesn't get one. He's made the two, the one ball in the side pocket and he's got a shot on the two. It's there for him. All he's got to do is take it. Watch the one ball into the side pocket just as he expected. And he's got that nice shot on the two. Everything else has got a pocket. Well, take four, it home. The four and five is. Going to be, a, he's got to get on this three, right? He's got to get on this three. He did it too. Not so sure about where he's going to go for this four ball, though. Well, the four will pass the five into that same side pocket. So he can just spin out two rails here. Come back up to center table. And he owns this shot. You know, I look at him and he doesn't look as comfortable and composed as Carl. Well, you can't blame him. He's down in a deep hole. Not much light down there. He avoided the six. Got a good angle here to get over for the seven. That's important. He did not want to be straight in on this ball. Back across the table. He's got to make sure he keeps an angle on the eight, too. Yep. Van Boning to draw within one. He gets that done. Now trails by one. It's three to four. England only one nine ball away from taking the cup home. And Van Boning is determined not to let that happen. Welcome back to the Tropicana in Vegas, where the pressure is on. Team Europe need just one more rack for the win that will take them to outright victory. Team USA are fighting for their survival in this competition. This is now the eighth rack. Boys queuing up for what could be the last break shot of this Moscone Cup. If he makes a ball and gets an open table, it could all be over. Well, his last break didn't work too well. Yeah, remember how he remember how he won that match last night, though. Yeah, that's been an oddity for his break not to work. He'd love to make the nine. He made the cue. He scratched on the break. That gives Van Boning a golden opportunity now. Ball in hand. 
fairly open table. We could be going to Double Hill. He took a quick look down here at that combination that looks like 3 7 ball. No, that's not the 3 7, that's the 3 5. Yeah. It's an easy combo. Well, that's he realizes that's his only real problem in this rack. It's not so much making the five, it's position for the three afterward. Right. That shot takes a lot of touch. Shane's got a little extra time here after the break shot. Yeah, he's got 17 seconds left and he's still got an extension if he wishes to call it. Does look That's like he will. Please. Thank you. He knows exactly how fatal any error would be. Starting with the one in the corner, and there's the two ball by the side. The key component to this run out is the position from the two to the three. Well, he's got the shape he needs. He's got to keep that three in play after he makes the five. So he has to have some angles so that the cue ball can bounce off the rail and go up table and be above the three ball after he makes this shot. Here comes the most important shot of the rack right here. That's no good. That's not good at all. That's not what he wanted to do. He wanted that three to end up in front of the pocket. Yeah, he just loses it. He's a little bit fortunate not to be blocked by the six. That was a friendly nudge. He's got to play safe here. Put the cue ball. He can't be shooting at this ball, can he? And yeah, not from my angle. Wow. He made that cut shot. What a cut shot from Van Boney. Will he get lucky? Ooh, Mike. You know what? He's OK. Oh. Boy, he cut the paint off this ball. Nice and quiet now. Look at that shot. <laughs> that was a billiard hit there. Yes, wow. We are headed for a double hill match. That's Shane's best shot of the match when he cut that three in. Best shot of the whole tournament. Ooh. Oh, boy, he almost rattled that ball. Arm is still nervous. Jerry, you notice how hard <laughs> the U.S. players have to work to run a rack, <laughs> unlike the European players. Speed very critical here. I think he'll just roll up and take the nine in the other corner. I agree, but... He's got to get the right speed to get there. He's OK. Yeah, he's fine. This is going to take us to Double Hill, folks. A one rack decider for what could be the cup. Shades of last night's match. But Shane will be breaking this time at Hill Hill. Shane puts the nine ball to sleep. And sits on the hill beside Carl Boys. Oh, it gets so tight. Yeah, yeah. Really, really cool. Trying to hear what Marcus is saying. But they're done. You think Shane could return the favor and make the nine on the break? That would be nice. There you see the scratch on that break. And then we had a nice combination shot that wound up with a tough position on the three ball. And Shane just had to cut that thing so thin. But it got him through the rack. And the nine ball went away to take us to double hill. Jerry, no matter what happens, this has been a real thrilling week. Another great Moscone Cup. Little thanks to uh, Barry and Luke.
Duke and all the people at Matchroom for producing this great event. Thank you all very much. Carl's pretty somber right now. Yeah, he, he can't believe that cut that uh, Van Boning made. He thought he was coming back to the table. There's Emir, the former Navy SEAL who is the spirit and lifeblood of the American team. Can Shane come up with a big break right here when he really needs it? Anything but a scratch. Our four-time U.S. Open champion at the table. Mr. Clutch. Ball's going down. I think he's going to have a shot at the one if the eight doesn't get in the way. Well, he's scratching his head, so the eight oh. is in the way. The last ball rolling got him. It always seems to be that way. That last ball rolls into shape. Ooh. Oh, boy. Boy, look at how nice that rack looked without that eight ball. And oh, you, you know. God. You know Van Boning doesn't want to push. He wants to try and find a way to play safe here. He may try to jump. He is. Here comes that little jump cue. Well, the Moscone Cup's on the line right now. This shot could make the difference. Very difficult jump shot when you got to lean way out on the table like this. Oh, that's going to be hard to clear that ball. He's got plenty of time. He's taking his extension. Just got to nip this cue ball. Yeah! What a shot from Van Boning when he needed it. A great jump shot there. The one ball went right into the heart of the pocket. The American side is showing a lot of appreciation for that one. They know how big this is. Take a look. Oh, that was always going in from the moment he struck that cue ball. And the cue ball stopped right there, too. Just brilliant, simply brilliant. Wants to kill the cue ball and shoot the five in the side. Yeah, like that. This, this rack, should Shan, Shane Van Boning get through it, will bring America within reach at 7-10. And with the big spark of hope in their heart, Europe won't be worried yet, but the concern will begin to eat into them. This is fine. Looks like you'll go forward and just shoot the eight in the side. Nice control there. Roll forward a few inches, maybe six <laughs> inches after hitting the eight and play the nine. He opted to go to the rail. That's fine. Oh, he's come out in great shape to take this match. When we needed him to rise to the occasion, Shane Van Boning has done it. He has beaten Carl Boys five to four in the closest match it can possibly be. The American dream is alive and kicking after a memorable performance from Shane Van Boney. His sides still have a mountain to climb, but anything is possible as Skylar Woodward picks up the baton for Team USA as he prepares to face Alvin Ocean in the next singles match in the Party Poker Moscone Cup.